this cannot happen to anybody's child again because it happened to my six year old baby. It's like a nightmare he can't wake up from. That's how a Tampa Bay father described a day that forever changed his life when he testified before Old Tamar City leaders last evening. Nearly two weeks ago, his family was struck by a car at a dangerous intersection in Oldsmar St. Pete Drive at Bayview Boulevard. His six-year-old daughter was killed. His 10-year-old is still in the ICU. Their mother was also hit, but she survived. This morning, ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills is driving Tampa Bay forward, but the community's call now for a faster fix. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, guys. Well, the city of Oldsmar says it's already working on a solution for this intersection behind me. But this morning, a tearful father and others are saying they want a solution faster. And they point to this tragedy that happened here just days ago. A tragedy now marked by the memorial you see here. You see stuffed animals, flowers, candles still out here for six-year-old Leah Soresby. Leah was killed on the last Saturday of March, crossing near the intersection of St. Pete Drive and Bayview Boulevard with her mother and her sister. According to deputies, the three were not in the crosswalk directly when they were hit, but neighbors and others say that's beside the point. Last night, many testified to Oldsmar City Council that they have complained about the intersection for years. They say it's unsafe. They say drivers speed through it daily. The city said it's working to reduce speed and put a roundabout at the intersection but that'll take time, maybe until late 2024 or early 2025. Leah's father, Jason Soresby, demanded quicker action. I wake up every morning, every morning, and it's not a nightmare. You know what I mean? This could have been avoided, and we are so much better than this as an Oldsmore community. This should be taken care of a long time ago. Neighbors floated the ideas like better signs, a four way stop, reduce speed limit immediately. The public's work, the public works director said he'll start looking at some of those ideas, but any improvement has to go through a data driven study back here live this morning. He did say that he has taken a few steps to improve conditions out here near this intersection. For one, there were some visibility issues. There was a box on a telephone pole or something like that on the side of the road. Maybe some palm fronds that were getting in the way of the vision of some drivers. Those things have been removed to increase visibility through this intersection behind me. Of course, neighbors and the father hope to see more. We're live in Oldsmar this morning. Chad Mills, ABC Action News.